What's up? I am Wayne Barron. Welcome to the new Dark Effects office. It is a lot bigger than what I had before, but it is also very, 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 oops, sorry, very cluttered at the moment. And uh, I am still trying to get everything sorted, but we are here to talk about uh, the servers. And uh, they actually look pretty cool, uh, the way this, I hope it actually looks that good in the video. I mean, that looks, looks pretty cool. It's got the blue lights coming down, which is not really blue lights. It's the blue cabling, the network cabling. But the way that the light right there is shining on it, it looks like blue lights. So it actually looks pretty cool. But anyway, so what we're going to be talking about today is uh, we're going to be talking about the cyber power, which is down bottom. And the fact that the power went off the other day and that cyber power ran that backup computer right here and the top switch along with the router and modem in the back and kept power going to two laptops and a couple of these LED lights for two hours and about 20-25 minutes. Now, the original batteries in that solar power are small ones, and if I would have had them in it, then it would have ran it for about five minutes. That was it, five minutes. And that right there is fact, because I had already tested that several years ago, running a similar setup. Only five minutes, and then you had to shut everything down as quickly as possible. But the batteries I've got running on this thing now, on that solar power now, keeps kept everything going for over two hours. So that was cool. We had a car wreck. I'm assuming it was a car wreck. There was no wind, no rain, no nothing. So it could not have been a tree limb that fell unless it was an old rotted limb that fell and hit power. Other than that, the way that the power kept on coming and going reminds me of a car wreck so I'm assuming that we had a car wreck the other day and took out power we lost power for two hours and 25 minutes and during that two hours and 25 minutes all my website stayed running on this backup unit right here so this is running all of my live sites right now and they are live they are up to date and everything because I've uh, once this top server right here once it is connected up or powered up and all the VMs are running, it will sync with this server right here uh, or this computer and then all the sites will become identical. And so I love technology. It's freaking awesome. But anyway, so let's take a look at everything and we'll go through it and we will see what's all connected to this cyber power. Up oh, there is my server rack, and uh, you can tell I've got let's see, one, two, three, four, five Dell R710 servers. This one right here is running. This has got my um, my backup, so that holds all of my backups, which I'm getting ready to back up from this top server right here. I've got it off, so that's the only one that's running. That one's off. But that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is about battery backup unit, which is a cyber power. And I cannot remember the numbers. I'll have the numbers put right here. But that's my cyber power. My cyber power. And so what we're gonna talk about, is we're gonna talk about that running only this which is my backup computer Let's bring it up here so this is just a uh, computer that is running a uh, four uh, one gigabyte network card and then I've got the uh, which uh, handles all of my internet traffic and then this one right here handles me connecting on to the ESXi host and then up top it's got one single server grade um, 
SATA hard drive in it. And that's pretty much it. Don't touch it. It is hot. And it's running 32 gigs of memory and an i5 processor. This switch right here is running along with the modem and the router. And that was pretty much it on this. And then, no, I just got finished moving into my new office. So the office is a mess right now. But along with just that, so we don't include these. Okay, so don't include none of these. Because like I said, all these are shut off except at the bottom one. The bottom one just came online yesterday. But all these were off except that there was juice going to this one like this one right here you can see the error message which has something to do with the the sas cable and so i got to figure out why that error is showing up but so this one's plugged in but it's not booted that one the bottom one right there was plugged in but was not booted the other day uh also this laptop which is my main laptop is plugged in along with that monitor right there and then um, this light right here which stays running constantly and then I've got a light in the back that stays running constantly now the reason why I'm doing this video is that the solar power back battery backup which is right there that system kept that running for two hours we lost power the other day the day before or two days before or the day before was it the day before or two days two days before hurricane elsa not the elsa from frozen but hurricane elsa came through we did not lose no power during that which was awesome but i'm assuming a car wrecked and took out the power so we lost power for uh, two hours and 25 minutes that that them two units back yonder the the modem and the router along with this laptop and i've got uh my backup laptop sitting over yonder like i said the place is still a mess i'm in the process of getting everything sorted here but this laptop which is my main laptop this monitor, the top laptop right there, was all plugged in to the battery backup unit, including this light right here and this phone right here was all plugged into that. And it stayed running for two hours. Now, the reason why that solar power was able to run all that stuff for two hours is because I did something that everybody told me that I would not be able to do with this solar power. And I've got a video which is linked right here. Oh, I actually, it's right there. That y'all be able to see what I did with that, which is I took these small batteries and I put in bigger batteries. Now the batteries come down. You see the batteries down here at the bottom. Then batteries are huge compared to the original batteries. And like I said, you can check out the video for that. But them batteries right there is what kept everything running for over two hours. And so if we come around here, we can see this right here shows us how much battery power that we have. This right here shows us how much we have on our side of power. So just with this running right here and the backup running up yonder, that is all that it's showing. Oops, that's all that it's showing as being on here. So but once I fire up this one, which I will be doing that in a little while so that I can do my backup of all my VMs onto the backup server, then that should change to two dots. 
Now, as you can tell, everything is, is not like it's supposed to be at all, period. The, I cannot have the front panel on here because I've got all my wires coming out and they're coming in going down to the bottom. And I used to have this in my other office, which is now my bedroom. So I had to turn this sideways so that I can see it from over here so that I can monitor this the other day. And after two hours, it only got down to the second green light. So I lost my two top green lights and then I was on my second green light and it stayed there for the last 30 minutes before the power cut back on. So, not bad for uh, about $200 in batteries. That's about how much they cost, about $50 each battery. Free shipping. And so power, I've had that since 2001. And the batteries, I uh, bought two of them a couple of years ago, then I bought the other two a couple of years later. And so now everything's running.